Would you like to add a subscription form to your WordPress site? Let me show you how. Hey Jotformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and I'm already in my Jotform dashboard. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a subscription form or a subscribe form. So I'm gonna go up to the top left-hand corner. We're gonna choose to create a form and I'm gonna use a template for this. And I'm gonna do a quick search for subscribe just to see what pops up. So it looks like we have some pretty basic forms, which is exactly what I am looking for. And my eyes automatically go towards the colorful one. So I'm gonna go ahead and utilize this one for this example. Good deal. So once you edit this and make it your own, you're gonna wanna go to your WordPress website. And we wanna make sure that we have the JotForm plugin installed on our website. So over on the left-hand side, down on plugins, we're gonna choose to add a new plugin. And we do a quick search for JotForm. And I want the one that is on the right hand side, this one that says JotForm Online Forms. We're gonna install and activate. Ready to go. I'm gonna go up in the top left back to plugins. And with this, you can embed a JotForm on either a post, like a blog post, or you can put it on a page. So for this example, I'm gonna create a new page and we're going to embed it on that. I'm gonna to choose to start with a blank page for this. And we can do this two different ways. We can either choose the plus sign in the top right up here, or we can choose the plus sign here. I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one. And we are looking for the classic editor, which is right here. But if for some reason it does not populate, all we need to do is just search for classic. Then once we choose it, we can see a JotForms icon right over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the icon and it's gonna bring up all of my JotForms in order from the most recent one that we created. So we can see the colorful subscribe form is right here at the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one and click continue. Now, since we are in edit mode, it's not going to fully populate. We need to preview it to see what this is going to look like. So I'm gonna go up to the top right. We're gonna choose preview on a desktop let's preview in a new tab. Good deal, there we are. Here is our form, good to go, completely embedded in our WordPress site. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about embedding a subscription form in your WordPress site, let us know and I'll see you next time.